What's going on guys? Kooks46 here bringing you another MLB The Show 17 Diamond Dynasty video. We are going to be playing another head-to-head -head ranked seasons game today. We're going to debut another brand new player to the squad and this is going to be our created player, none other than Tim Coops. So yes, we have a created player. His name is Tim Coops. He is number 46, you know, repping me well, gotta represent. But you can see uh, he's not fully maxed out yet, but he's still pretty good. 92 on the contact, 86 on the power, 89 vision. Just a really, really good card. Great fielding, uh, great speed. He's just gonna be an absolute stud once he's fully maxed out. Now I need to let you guys know this will not be his official debut. Like I have used him before, but it was really weird because I put him at shortstop and even with all these like fielding things, he wasn't playing well at shortstop. I don't know what the deal was for some reason. So we're gonna put him at catcher and see what happens. In the last video, we did make it to championship series. We are now at an 823 rating. So we gotta try and get these last 77 points to get to world series. So hopefully this will be a good step for us. Gotta get a dub today. Gotta keep going up guys. If you wanna see more of this, make sure you please smash that like button on this video make sure you subscribe so you never miss any more of these MLB the show 17 videos and let's go ahead and get into the game okay guys here we go we're taking on the Los Angeles Bears he's got Lou Brock Lorenzo Cain Paul Goldschmidt Carlos Beltran Longoria again Ben Zobrist uh, Gold Hanley Yogi and he's got Patrick Corbin on the mound interesting starting pitcher choice by the way guys if I look and sound like death it's because I just woke up and I just hopped on and started recording. I haven't even taken a shower yet. Taking a look at his record, 41-35. and 35. Okay, so another guy who's played plenty of ranked seasons game this season. All right, we got Griffey leading it off. Let's go. Oh, and baby, let's go. Ken Griffey Jr. leading off the game with a base hit. That's how we need to get it started. 84 speed on first base already. Let's go. All right, guys, we got a 2-1 count right here. I'm going to try and hit and run. I'm gonna, I want to try it. 84 speed, we can do it. All right, we stay out of the double play. It works fine. Works fine. All right, we got Griffey to second. It's all we need. It's not that bad of an at bat right there. Ah, Victor Martinez grounding out to third. Why am I swinging at the first pitch, man? That's not good. And here we go. Tim Coogs getting an at bat. Let's see how he does. Tim Coogs is taking it to left field, but that looks like it's gonna be caught. Ah, oh, man, we had a pitch to do damage with on two strikes. Just wasn't able to get that guy in from second. Oh, no. All right. Lou Brock is leading off the game with a hit for him. That's not good. That 99 speed always scares me. Oh, yes. Let's go. We got Lorenzo Kane to pop out here. Victor Martinez. There we go. That's a great grab right there. That's one out. He's running on the pitch. We gave him a fastball. Come on. Come on, Cougs. Ah, just nothing we can do, man. He's just too fast. We got a strike, though. He's running to third. Come on. We can get him. We can get him. We can get him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, man, we got the strikeout, but Lou Brock is just too freaking fat. Wait, he didn't swing? I thought he swung. All right, there we go. Now we got him to strike out. Two down. We got to face Beltron now. Who's up next? Longoria. Uh, I would rather face Longoria. Boom. All right, we got Longoria on a fastball. Wow, that was a pretty eventful first inning for us. All right, here we go. Tim Koo is getting his second at-bat of the game here in the top of the fourth, leading it off. Let's see if we can get a solo dinger. How about it? somebody score here? And nope, looks like it's just going to be a ground out to short unless he can beat that out. Ooh, so close, man. That 94 speed is dangerous. Reggie Jackson up the middle, and that's getting down. Reggie Jackson has two hits right up the middle from the lefty-lefty matchup. He's really seeing the ball well. One out base hit for him. And Andrew McCutcheon absolutely destroys left-handed pitching. Got one there. Took it back up the middle as well. And now we've got first and second with one out. Come on, let's go. Let's get these runs home. Oh, my gosh. Daniel Murphy's literally doing the same thing. I was even looking for that high and in pitch, and I still missed it. That's two down. And then Buddy Bell going deep almost to the warning track. Boys and girls, we just cannot get any of our runners in scoring position across the plate right now. Come on, come on. Oh, Evan Longoria with a one out base hit just right past Buddy Bell. He tried, just wasn't able to get there. And that's going to be a base runner. Now we got to face Zobrist. That ball did not go where I wanted it to go. It got way too much of the plate. And that's going to be, he's going to be out at third though. There we go. Daniel Murphy put the tag on him. He does have a runner at second now though. 
and we gotta face Hanley. Who's up next, actually? I think his pitcher... No, Yogi Bear is up next. We'll face Hanley. Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna walk Hanley, we're gonna face Yogi Bear. I would much rather have that matchup. And we got him to pop up. I knew it was a better opportunity to face Yogi Berra than Hanley Ramirez. I knew it was going to work out. And Buddy Bell gets us out of the inning. All right, here we go, guys. We need a score. Oh, oh. I totally thought he was going to be out. I wasn't saying anything for the commentary. But Chris Archer just got an infield base hit. Let's go, Archer. I love it. And then Ken Griffey Jr. down the line. Get, that might be a ground rule double. It is a ground rule double. And just like the MVP series, man, these ground rule doubles in Dodger Stadium are freaking annoying. All right, he's bringing in Coda Glover. No more of his pitcher. That's actually interesting because his pitcher is supposed to lead off the next inning. So he might not be in here for that long. There we go. No matter where that goes, that's getting a run home. No matter where that goes, that's getting a run home. And it's off the wall. Let's go. That's getting two. That's getting two. Is he not going to throw it in? Are we going to get a triple out of that? I don't understand what was going on right there, but Ian Kinsler gets us a no-out triple. Let's go. That is a pop-up. That is a fairly deep center field, 78 speed. I think we're going to try this. As long as you get there, come on, come on. Yeah, we're going to be in there. That's going to be another run. That is three runs for us in the fifth inning. Let's go. And now we've got Tim Kooks up for his third at-bat of the game. He is 0 for 2 today, so let's see if he can get his hit here in his debut game on YouTube. And it's pretty, that's hit hard, man. There's really just not a lot we can do about that. That's right to him. Hit the ball hard, you just, that's it. Reggie Jackson, is that gonna drop? Jeez, dude. Oh my goodness, what, you, you can't do that. This could possibly be an inside the park home run. This could possibly be an inside the park home run. Reggie Jackson with the inside the park home run. What was that dive? Oh my gosh, dude. That's just... Oh, and now he's going to hit McCutcheon. Yeah, you're mad at me for getting an inside the park home... Yeah, okay, dude. Dude, that was the corniest thing I've ever seen. How did Reggie Jackson just get an inside the park home run at Dodger Stadium? Oh my god, this game's insane. Uh-oh, first batter of the sixth inning, Carlos Beltran going pretty deep. Come on, let's try and rob this. Oh, we had two guys try to rob it, but we both missed it, and he got a home run. I gave him a high and in fastball, and it looks like he had good timing on it. All right, got to give him credit there. Victor Martinez getting a pitch to drive, but it's just going to stay in the yard, man. Victor Martinez doesn't seem to have any pop today. But Tim Cook's coming up for his fourth that bat, and he is still 0 for 3. Oh, oh, that's a pitch I thought I was going to drive. Oh, my goodness. Tim Coog's not really showing out here in his debut. 0 for 4. All right, ninth inning, guys. This is going to be our last opportunity to score. Hopefully, it's our last opportunity so we can just get this win. I'm actually going to leave Osuna in because he's been struggling trying to hit Osuna, and he's got some righties coming up. So if it just means a one out I have to work with in the ninth, that's fine. But uh, Osuna is going to stay in the game. And he is going to be flying out to second, it looks like. Oh, well. And Griffey's going to be rolling to first. He's going to step on the bag. That's two down. And Ian Kinsler is going to be grounding out as well. And that was a very poor top of the ninth inning. But let's see if we can shut it down right here. Three-run lead. Let's get it. Oh, come on, Tim Cooks. There's no way he made that catch. Oh my god. That was the greatest catch of 2017. Tim Coogs behind the dish. What a beast. One out in the ninth. Hold on. Can we take a quick look at this? Where's the ball? Hold on, guys. We need to take a quick look at this. This is just unfair. Where is Tim Coogs in relation to the ball right here? Like... Oh my gosh, look how much air he got, dude. That is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Ooh, okay, okay. Ben Zobris getting a hit here. That's not good. That's not good. We don't want any more base runners. All right, come on. Osuna, let's just hold it. Ooh, that Osuna movement is out of control. Let's go. One more out. 
And we got Yogi Bear to pop up. Come on, come on, Daniel Murphy, just make this grab. And that is another victory for us in ranked seasons. Let's go, boys. Roberto Osuna got player of the game for locking down that save, but to me, the real player of the game was Reggie Jackson. Three for four with an inside the park home run. <laughs> Ian Kinsler had two RBIs. We had four runs on 10 hits. Overall, great performance. Chris Archer did amazing. So let's go, boys. Let's see what our rating's at now. All right, so we got a plus 12 rating. He was actually only in the 600, so we weren't going to go up much from that, but we did go up to an 835, just getting every bit closer to 900 that we can. But there you guys have it. That is going to do it for this episode of Ranked Seasons here in MLB The Show 17, Diamond Dynasty. Let me know what you think. Do you want to see more of these videos? If you do, please drop a like. You guys know that's what helps me out the most. Make sure you guys subscribe so you never miss any more of these videos. And guys, that's all I have for you in this one, so I really hope you enjoyed. And until the next video, I will see you later.